All right, just a bit of an update uh, video. Um, as you guys have probably already noticed, uh, last few videos have been in a different location. That's because we've moved house um, last few days. Um, we've been kind of moving our gear along. Um, we've had a couple of nights here now. Um, so the new workout space is basically a single guy garage, um, which is a lot smaller than the, the previous place I was at, but um, that's all you really need, man. As long as you can fit a squat rack in and you can do pull-ups on, on top of it and, and, and squat and deadlift, that's all you really need. Um, I don't know, my last place was a 9x6 shed that was humongous and you really I could set up a whole gym in there. Um, at the end I didn't, it was just filled with toys and all this other stuff. But um, but yeah, so that, that's what's happening. Um, training has kind of, um, I guess, I don't want to say it like this, but it's taken a, a, a back seat um, in my life recently. Um, I still have been training, as you guys have, you know, could tell that I'm putting up videos. Still doing my squats, but nothing else basically. Um, it's just purely squats. Uh, not a whole lot of recovery going on or, or nutrition. Um, I've had a few nights of four hours sleep um, because of all just the busyness that's been happening. Food's been really poor. It's, it's kind of been like whenever I can put something in my mouth, um, but it hasn't been optimal at all. Um, so today, um, working up from a, from a night shift as well on top of all this stuff. And so feeling really sluggish, feeling really tired, no power in the legs, legs are feeling really tight. TFL is kind of bugging me again. Um, so. Yeah, decided not to push too hard today, 170, whatever. Uh, I'm gonna do a bit of um, uh, hip work, which I usually don't do, but I feel like I need it. Um, some side leg raises. Um, I did, I haven't done this in a long time, but I did some, uh, what do you call it, barbell thrusts, glute thrusts, glute bridges, that kind of thing. Um, just to get a bit of blood in there and just to loosen up a little bit. You can stretch in, when you get in these type of situations, but I find stretching never does anything for me, especially statically. Um, I think for me, when I feel stiff um, and just really not very mobile, um, I just like to do some of these girly <laughs> uh, exercises where you just kind of, you know, clamshells, side leg raises, um, you know, uh, uh, supine leg raises where you just, you know, just get blood in all of those little muscles, hip flexors, hip abductors, hip extensors. I mean, hip extensors, you really work with squats anyway, but um, just to hit them in a different rep range and yeah, that's what I've kind of uh, done today. So I did 170, and then I did this, and uh, hopefully in the next few days I'm gonna, you know, get some you know, better sleep and better nutrition, and I'll start focusing a bit more on training. Um, but last few days has purely just been hit a comfortable single and, and get the hell out and continue to do what I have to do. Um, so that's where I'm at right now. Um, I'm hoping in the next few weeks to hit 200. Um, I'm just gonna let. Let it come to me, I don't want to push too hard, I don't want to be too greedy. Um, TFL issue is still kind of there, but I'm kind of ironing it out. I'm working out a couple of things here and there. Definitely sumo RDLs are working really well for me. Um, I made a video about you know, how to ask to go squat, and in there I spoke about RDLs. Well, RDLs are great. Mix it up, you know, go sumo, go traditional stance. Um, it just really addresses kind of like the, the adductors and, and the and the glutes really, really well. It gets kind of, the hamstring as well, it gets everything. It's just a different foot position, kind of gets a bit of a, a different angle on things. But yeah, that's it. Um, yeah, tune in for tomorrow and I'll do another another uh, squat session um, like usual and we'll see what I can do tomorrow. Cheers guys, catch you in the next one.